today. Well, technology is in every phase of our lives these days, so no wonder technology and pets go hand in hand more now than ever. Here with more, please welcome KHIU tech reporter Doug Deloney. Hello there, Doug. Good morning to you. All right. All kinds of ways that we can use technology to help with our pets. Yes, and this first one is actually kind of a security device for your home or office in general, but a lot of pet owners get it just because they want to keep an eye on what their cats and dogs are doing when they're out of the house. I'm talking about drop cam. So it costs you about two to three hundred dollars to buy one of these, depending on the model you get. You set it up inside your house, and you can monitor it remotely on your oh. smartphone, on the computer. Here you can see a pooch jumping up on the counter, and the quality is actually outstanding. It's highly reviewed because it's so easy to set up the drop cam. Yeah, it doesn't look like typical security video no, at all. No, it's really, really high quality, and. You can hear them and they can hear you. You can actually talk to your pet. Hey, get off the counter. Yeah. It's actually really, really cool. There is a monthly cost involved if you want to save the video. It's about $100 a year if you want to pay it for the year price, but it is a pretty cool product. So look up yeah, the You always wonder what do they do all day long? Because, yeah, exactly. you know, they don't do that stuff in front of you. Uh -huh, you know, exactly they think you're right. gone. I had a friend who actually had one set up in her house, and she said that she heard her cats running around in the house in the middle of the night. Literally looked, at, looked back at the surveillance video. A squirrel had run in through the doggy door. Oh. And she's, it was great video. She wanted to put it on YouTube, but she walked into the room in her nighty. So oh, she decided to not put herself on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's okay. talk about pet microchipping. This mm -hmm. has been around for a while. Obviously, it's technologically advanced because no battery required. You don't have to change the batteries on these little chips. Put them under the skin. On a dog and cat, usually it's placed between the shoulder blades. And here you can see a dog getting one. It doesn't yeah. look too painful, very right? Very quick, fairly inexpensive. The uh -huh. thing is, like, you know, my dog took off the other night on the coldest uh -huh. night of the year. Um, and th thanks, by the way, to one of my neighbors named Muffy. Muffy found him at the mall. Of course, my uh -huh. dog would run away and go to the mall. Uh, <laughs> didn't bring me back anything either, that dog. <laughs> but, but, and that's what we're going to do because the, having oh, that chip, so they know exactly it, who it belongs as to. As long as somebody honest finds the animal and turns it in, because it's not a GPS Trust me, thing. I think Muffy couldn't wait to get them back right. to us. But, you know, the same thing with thoughts to me of using technology, uh -huh. the neighborhood Facebook pages where right. you can post exactly a picture right. and say, is this uh -huh. yours? And the microchip, always, my parents had me microchipped when I was right. a young, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, let's talk about the anti-bark. You're joking, that's probably next. <laughs> let's talk about the anti-bark collar. Now, often you hear about these, oh, this is cruel because it shocks the dog. Not this one. This is actually a spray collar. It sprays a lemon scent or citronella whenever the dog barks, and it actually uses vibration and sound to pick up on it. So there's no false indicators and it sprays them for no reason. It's kind of cool. About $35. Uh, it's for now, animals it six the, the pounds animals and don't up. don't like the smell? It's supposed to be that the animals do not like the smell. Okay. And of course, it's, an, it's not cruel. But they say don't leave it on for longer than 12 hours. And, uh, and it's, it's about 36 bucks if you go on Amazon. It's pretty nice. Okay, keeping with the animal theme, let's talk social media now. This is kind of uh, interesting. Or is this our video of the week, actually? No, no. Okay, just, no. Yeah. So let's talk about if you've heard of selfies, right? Where right. people go on the internet and take pictures of themselves. This is the new craze, selfies. Have you heard of this? I, I, it's, I, no. It's, but it's, farm, but it's, it's farm animal <laughs> selfies. It started as an online contest, but it has since gone viral, now, and now people just do it on their own. If they, this was your pet, I could see you having a picture with your pet. But are, like, are no, people it going, has to be farm animals. A farm it's animal. selfies. It has to be farm animals. <laughs> And it's you with pigs, horses, cows. And if you live in the city of Houston, maybe you have trouble finding these animals. Oh, Remember that's all right, because in a little bit, the rodeo will yeah, be here. I know, here. that's what I'm saying. I the rodeo is yeah. going to be here, and you'll have no trouble whatsoever. I am going to town at the rodeo. That's called a Ralphie. A Ralphie, a selfie at the rodeo with the right, rodeo very nice. pet. You may yeah. be on to Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm going to go to town. That's awesome. All right, now it's time for the home video of the week. Good girl, can you walk this way? Yay! Good girl! Please? Please? Good girl, can you turn around? Can you say please? Say please! Lisa, say please! Wow! Good girl! Oh. Can you roll over? <laughs> I you love it? that. Oh, it does it's it's rolling so over. Cute. Yeah. So obviously this is on YouTube. Yeah. Lisa Minnie is her name. Really? It's a Yorkie. Apparently she has more than 15 tricks she can do, and of course she's very popular on YouTube. Yeah, those are kind of tricks, but this is following directions. Uh -huh. I'm just nice. like at home going, clean your room, pick up your Legos. <laughs> yeah, nothing's nothing's happening there. All right, Doug, thank you very much. No and for more technology news and helpful apps, you can find Doug on KHAU this morning or on Twitter and Facebook. Well, from cool gadgets for your pet to the toys they can get down and dirty with, we've got the top toys. Toys for your pets next.